I was using the plastic tool like everyone else until I discovered two hidden techniques they are barely talked about but once I tried them my animation workflow changed completely in this video I will show you three powerful ways to use the plastic tool in open tunes including two underrated tricks to combine shapes link rigs and animate more fluidly they are simple fast and work for any rig but how do these tricks actually work together in real animation that's where the magic really starts and you will see it in action I have imported this image into open tunes and I have used the plastic tool With the build skeleton option, I have added vertex points. Now we can animate the image. We can see that if I move the vertex, it moves that portion of the image. This is the first method to use plastic tool for animation. This is a tree. And this is the banner on the tree. These are two separate images on separate levels. I have used plastic tool on both of them. and using the build skeleton option in plastic tool i have added vertex points to the tree and to the banner Now I need to connect both of them. I will connect the vertex point of the banner which is 1. To the vertex point of the tree which is 22. This is the mesh for the tree and this is the mesh for the banner. So we connect the mesh of the banner to the mesh of the tree. On one end we have to select one which is the vertex point of the banner. That point is going to connect 
to the tree on vertex point 22. So if I move the vertex point 22, the banner will move automatically. Now let's animate. This is the second method of connecting two different shapes using plastic tool. This zombie is in two levels. The body is in one level and the face is in a separate level. I have drawn the face as Toon's raster level. And using the build skeleton option, I have added vertex points to the body. And for the face, I am using skeleton tool. Now we will connect the face with the body using the hook tool. So using the hook tool, put a mark on the face which you can see over here, number 2. And the body has vertex point 3. So we need to connect vertex point 3 to the hook on the face. This is the mesh of the body. And this is the face. And we can see that I have connected the face to the mesh. The face should have two, and it needs to connect to the vertex point three. For the face, I have created different poses in the level strip. This is an open mouth. This is a closed mouth. And this is a sad face. So now we will animate. So this is the third method to use plastic tool to connect two shapes. This is a hybrid method in which we can connect the plastic tool with a shape which is connected with skeleton tool.
everything I just showed you works but only if you know how to control the plastic tool properly. In the next video I will show you exactly how to use the plastic tool the right way even if you have never touched it before.